Well, hey everybody and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Pulley. Today, we are going to be showing you how to make Zaxby's sauce. Hit it! Alright, well thanks a lot for watching. If this is your first time joining us, please do me a favor, go down to the corner, hit that subscribe button, and then hit that notification bell so you can be notified each and every time I upload new content. All right, you clicked on this video to have me show you how to make Zaxby's sauce. Let's drop down here and see what we've got. For our ingredients, we have a half a cup of mayonnaise, a quarter cup of ketchup, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, quarter teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, and we're just gonna be hitting it with a little pepper at the end, and then we're gonna mix it up. Let's get busy. All right, as always, get a bowl that's gonna be big enough for your ingredients. I will leave the uh, recipe for this with the ingredients down in the description box. This makes about three quarters of a cup. Whoop, get our mayonnaise in there, and our ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, and then the garlic. Just gonna mix this all up. And then we'll add our pepper. This is to taste whatever you wanna put in. There's the sauce. Let's take some photos. All right, that was a beautiful photo shoot. Now we're gonna go give this a try. This is a disclaimer, these are not Zaxby's chicken fingers. So, just wanted everybody to know that. You can taste that garlic in there with that ketchup and then that creaminess of that mayonnaise. You can get that savoriness of the Worcestershire sauce. That's a good dip. It'd be good for french fries, shrimp, chicken, put it on a burger, sandwich, whatever you want to do. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Go ahead and like this video, leave a comment down below, and then share this video with everybody. Everybody that you know. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.